Hey there, let me ask you this quick question. Have you ever dealt with this kind of problem or this kind of daunting task every single project that you do? So for example, you have this table and let's say you want to delete this particular row from your table or you want to just click over here and it selects all the rows that are underneath here. And then you want to push this button and delete all of that. If that is something that you are looking to do, what I call is a HTML check, uncheck value, also delete single or multiple rows. If that is something you are looking for an easy way to do, make sure you watch this whole video because I'm gonna share with you a particular code that's gonna help you streamline this process no matter wherever you are writing your code, you can easily use that. All right, so welcome again. So let me show you exactly what we are going to be learning in here. And so let me just refresh the page. So make sure everything is good. So now, Let's say we want to select all of these rows. So right now I have three rows. So if I just click on this box, it should automatically put a checkbox right next to all of them. So what do you do is you put a click here and it selects it all and which is great. So if I want to get the value of all of these and I can click on this get value and don't worry about this, what the hell this one, two, three is. And I will show you later on in this video how you can assign a value to this. So let's say we got the value. Now, if you want to delete all of the selected one, we could just click on delete bulk. Or if you want to just delete individual rows, so for example, this row, all I got to do is click on this box with this cross and it will go and delete the whole thing. However, if I want to delete all of them, I could just click here and then voila, it's gone. And if I click the value right now, obviously there's nothing there. So this in nutshell, we are going to be learning. And I'm excited because this is, trust me, when I tell you this, this kind of operation happens all the time in every single project that I go and build and I work on. So if you need help with this, watch this whole thing. And uh, let me show you what we are going to be doing. So here we go. So we got this simple table right over here, right? So I'm not gonna go too much into the HTML part of this thing because this is pretty straightforward. It's nothing special about this table. It's just a regular table which just creates this. So what to do when you click over here, this box comes up and this is, so this is standard, your HTML table. What I will go into, like what happens when you click on each one of these uh, buttons or events. So let's say, let's click on this. So let's say if we want to delete an individual row, if I click on this and the row gets, I don't know if you saw it or not, let me do it again. It highlights it into yellow, uh, red, and then it deletes it. Boom, that just indicates that it's gone. So let's look at that particular operation. So we go over here, all the way down, actually all the way up, so which is uh, delete a single row, which is right over here. So this particular function, you can literally just copy, paste it into your project and use it, and it will work like a charm. So how this works is let's say we are clicking, well, I'm using jQuery and those of you who are interested in learning or mastering your jQuery there I'm going to leave the link in the description so that way there's a course that I'll offer that you can literally just take it and you will master the whole shebang of jQuery and I love using jQuery because it's been around for more than 10 years so you know it's here for a while and it's going to stay here for a while as well. So that's what I did. So if you're interested in taking the course, there will be a link in the description, you can take it. But what you can do is if you know jQuery a little bit, even if you don't know it, all you basically gotta do is just go up to your source code up top right here and include this line and I don't worry about it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description in which you can go and get this particular code. So you can literally just copy this whole page, paste it, and then you have the whole source code that we are working on right now. So once again, when we click on this click event, when this button is click, which is basically, let me put this right here. This button right here, this is what this is. So once we click on this, it's gonna call this particular function. And once again, like I said, you just call this function. And then in this function, it only takes one parameter, which is this, this meaning this, particular button, 
that's all that's going to do this particular button that's all you put in here and the code itself will automatically go to the next tr which is your row and then it's going to change the color of the whole row to red if you want to change it you can change it right over here to whatever color you want and then it's going to go and slowly delete the whole thing so it kind of gives you an idea or the experience of that is going to go away so it's going to go and slowly fades out kind of thing so that is that that's how you delete a single row and let's move on if you want to check when you click over here it's going to check the whole boxes underneath and you can also uncheck it at the same time and this one what you can do is this is what happens here so i made it so easy for you and it also has this function that i wrote it because i use this kind of stuff all the time so i got to the point where i'm like hey i'm just going to create a function one time it will work no matter what the table is long as i have a certain criteria and then we're good so over here what i want to show you was when you click on on chain event the only way you can have something change there's a reason why i'm saying change as compared to click event so when you click over here and then change event happen meaning there's someone clicked on it and then automatically behind scene in the dom there's a check event that happens that gets placed in here so you could only trigger this under the chain event that's why i have a chain change here instead of click so you should make sure you do that so what that means is whenever you click on this and i also have this labeled as a class so let's go down here so this right here this is the very first row so whenever someone clicks on this and this is checkbox literally that someone clicks on it then it's going to go to this particular checkbox put a check in here check here check here so all these are all checkbox all of these so let's go up here and here it is so this particular one it takes two parameter this function which is right over here you can obviously go in and change it manipulate it any which way you want but if i were you i would just copy it paste it and start using it and not even worry about it as long as you can take two parameters for example the first parameter will be this which we which will be this right over here and the second parameter is which is the checkbox id or a class what i would recommend you would just put like a document unless you have a specific container that you want to go to you put that over here and then whatever the class or id is or the element you put it over here which is going to put it as a second parameter and that's it this one line of code is going to make your operation of checking and unchecking extremely easy and fast and efficient All right this is pretty cool don't you agree if you do agree go on and hit that subscribe button because that way you can get to have this kind of knowledge or these kind of tools that you can use in your project to speed it up and also if you feel like hey there are some things that in your code you can improve just leave it in the comment below so that way when someone else who reads it they can actually benefit from it and if you truly absolutely hate this kind of thing leave it in the comment like this is a waste of time or whatever just leave it in the comment for me and also i have one more gift for you which you can go to the url that's going to show up right now and over there just go in to enter your name and email i have a special gift that's going to help you speed up your web development project so make sure you go and grab that because that's going to really help you and also i will leave it in the description for you and that's that so let's move on so the next part is where we are going to delete all of it once we have that selected so that will be the next part right over here so this function once again i will leave it in the description for you so that way you can go on and get it make it easy for you that's what i'm here for i want to make your life easier so you copy this function simple as that and then it will only take one uh, parameter which is the class or the id or i would just say call it element of whatever the check box is so in other words whatever is checked it's going to go in there and delete it so this is what this is and if you're wondering like why are you not writing this code well, normally people write their code that's why their videos are one hour long and if you have watched any of my previous video if you haven't go and check them out 
I don't like to waste your time because I really truly value your time. So that's why I don't write the code as I'm coding because I want to teach you the stuff that is more logistical as compared to coding because coding is extremely easy because I've been doing this for God knows forever. So I don't want to waste your time. I feel like if you understand the basic concept, coding, you will get it. So moving on. So with this function, there's literally just one line of code with the element put it in as a parameter your delete function will work like a charm literally so if i have all of these checked or let's just say if i want to check this one and the bottom one or yeah let's just do that so let's say if i want to check only the bottom one and i want to click on this and then boom and it's gone so let's say if i want to check this one and boom it's gone it's going to only delete the one that's too checked at all so that is why it is extremely important to put that in here and last but not least so let's open this up well rather refresh it if i want to get this get this right so everything that's checked so let's go here and there it is so this is the function right here so in here what that says is it's going to get all the value if it's just this function here which i'm going to just copy it and then paste it under here so which makes it a little more organized because we all like things organized don't we all right, so this function right over here, literally just copy and paste it. And in this particular function, it's gonna take two parameter. One is the element, which will be uh, your checkbox element ID or class. I like using class. And this is what I teach in my JavaScript and jQuery course. Once again, the link is gonna be below if you're interested in taking it. And you trust me, you're going to be extremely happy with it because it's going to really help you speed up your learning curve of learning jQuery and your web development extremely faster. So I like using uh, classes. This is how you use it. And then if you want to use it as a ID, basically what you do is put a, a pound sign in front of it that becomes a, a ID in jQuery. So that was that, and then basically you pass that in here, and then this part is the most important one. What that means is, what is the attribute that you are calling that it has a value next to it? But you know, if you don't want to use it as an attribute, you can literally go to this uh, each function and then replace it. So this is where the attribute gets added. If you know a little bit, if not, go on and take that course, man. All right, so if you, you can modify it here, that's why I'm giving you this code. So if you like this, this could be a good working place code for you, and then you can go and modify it for your own project. All right, so this particular attribute, let's go here, it's gonna be right here. So right over here, which is the checkbox, which is this right here, I have an attribute call, well, I have a class call item ID, then I have an attribute call option ID. You can have it call it ID, you can have it call it delete this value, unique ID, whatever the hell you want to call it. Whatever this attribute has a value of, that's what it's going to pass. So normally what I do is, well, let me go over here, just finish this off. So this would be this, and it took, takes two parameter. this one line of code, it's going to get you the value, which is right over here. And that's that. So what I normally do is, let's say if I want to delete something, right? So... <clears throat> Uh, so that I can pass it to your uh, uh, database. So let me go back here, refresh it. So let's say I would say, hey, I want to get the value, not the value, but rather, I want to delete this one only rather than deleting it all. So what I would do is I would say, hey, get me the value of this particular record which will be right over here will be the record ID. Then I could take the record ID, pass it onto the AJAX request to my uh, PHP and then go to the PHP and then that will go into MySQL and delete the record and then we'll delete it here as well as in my database. So that's what I would normally do. So hopefully if you find this video helpful, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and also, I do have a Facebook group, which I'm going to leave it in the description for you. So if you want to go join that, and the reason why you should join it, because all the videos that I put out on the YouTube, I put it in the group first before it gets released in the YouTube. So you make sure you go on and join the Facebook group because we got a bunch of stuff in here that you really, really going to help you take your development to the next level a lot.
faster and you can also ask any question you want here i will personally answer for you so it's like a community a private community that are there to help you so i will see you in the next video and happy coding